Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can create and share your own custom presets in Final Cut Pro. Now, how are these presets different from, let's say, an effect? Well, an effect typically is created in Apple Motion, either by you or a third-party developer and then published to Final Cut Pro. Whereas a preset will use the existing tools in Final Cut Pro, as many of the tools as you want to include in that preset, and then you can save it and apply it to clips in the future. So let me show you my example. Here is a clip that was shot in log. It has not been color corrected, but I have in my inspector applied a whole series of color and film grain and focus effects that come from Final Cut Pro. Let me enable it so you can see these effects in action. Now, if I were really happy with this look and I thought, you know, I wanna save that for a future date, or I think someone else might like this as well. All I need to do is hit save effects preset and give my preset a name. Now this could be one of those creative names that you see other people using for the types of looks that they create, or you could give it something more descriptive of what it actually is. I'm gonna give it one of those fun LUT kind of names. And then you can choose where you're gonna actually save this effect in your effects browser. So it's asking for the category. The category would be this listing of effects here or you can just create your new category. Now I'm gonna call mine Jen's Color Looks and I'm going to hit Create and I'm going to save it. Now, if I go down to my effects browser, here is Jen's Color Looks and there is my Friday Night Mood. I'm gonna delete this clip out of our timeline and drop it back in fresh from the browser so it doesn't have any of these effects on it. And now when I apply my effect to that clip, you can see it's populated the inspector with all of the modifications I had previously made. Now, like I said, you can share these effects presets as well. The key to know though is you can't incorporate any third-party effects in these presets that your partner that you're sharing it with doesn't have because they're just gonna get like a missing plugin error. So if you keep your presets to just the tools in Final Cut Pro, you can share these with anyone, no problem. Let me show you how to navigate to these presets in the Finder so you can share them. All you need to do is right click the effect in your effects browser, hit reveal in Finder, and there it is. If we get info, you can see it is a tiny little file that you could literally email to anyone. Now for the other person to install this effects preset, they need to open their finder window and hit Command, Shift and H to open their home folder. And then they wanna open the library folder. If the library folder is missing in this window, just hit Command J to show your view options and select show library folder. Now open that library folder and scroll down until you see the pro apps folder and open that. And then there is your effects presets folder. At this point, all they need to do is drag that effects preset into that effects presets folder and they'll have access to it too. So that is how you create and save and share effects presets in Final Cut Pro. Thanks to everyone who watches to the end. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna find helpful. I'll see you guys again.